Today we're going to learn about the key terms in probate. This is David Klein Levitt, broker owner, next home, first choice, hopefully your choice realty. Today we're talking about the key terms in probate. Please uh, subscribe to the channel. We give you useful information each and every week about real estate, about probate, about going through a divorce, basically to make real estate easy for you. And we also do videos, fun videos about the attractions of Costa Mesa and Newport Beach and the surrounding area. It's really informative, it's entertaining, and it's for you. So let's get to it, the key terms. Before I get started, if you want more information, go to DKL, David Klein Lovett, hyphen probate. David Klein Lovett, DKL, hyphen probate. And there's a wonderful dot com and there's a wonderful resource a website and there's a free book you can get a free book i said free that tells you a, a, a plethora of information about probate to make it easier for you or someone who you know who is going through probate so what makes probate difficult one of the reasons probate is so complicated difficult confusing is because there's so many terms and this lingo is lingo to its own a lot like like a lot of different things um, like I'm a, a, a Toastmaster it's a public speaking or, organization they have a lot of their own lingo or people call it jargon and if you don't know the jargon if you don't know who's on first you don't it makes it a lot more confusing so today we're gonna do an everyday we're going to do something here to make it a little less confusing for you. We'll talk about just some of the basic terms. Decedent. Decedent, uh, as you could probably guess, but just to make sure, and this is a term that's used, is the person who passed away, the decedent. Now, then there's a, a, a key person, and they have a whole bunch of different names, and it's so confusing. And th this is the person, the responsible one, that takes care of everything, gets the home sold, cleans up the house, uh, calls everybody, maybe even does all the funeral arrangements. That isn't part of probate, but it's part of the stuff. And uh, make sure that the estate, the decedent's properties and their will, and what might be talked about in the trust gets um, taken care of, gets distributed the way it's supposed to be distributed. The person that does all that stuff, all that work. First of all, probate. Probate's a, a, a word and it means to basically distribute the assets of someone who's passed away. That's a very, very basic, you know, of idea of how to do that. How to take care of their estate, their stuff. And to, when they get started, you could call them a petitioner because they're petitioning if there has to be a probate, if there's no trust. So that person, responsible person, could be called a petitioner because they're petitioning the court for probate. But wait, they have a whole bunch of other names. If there's a, a will, if a person dies with a will, which is called testate, meaning they passed away and have a will, the person is called an executor or an executrix if they're female. But wait, if they die without a will, that's called intestate, test date with a will and test date without, then they're called an administrator. Same person, responsible person, petitioner, executor, executrix, administrator, administrator X. But wait, there's more. Often this responsible person who was the petitioner who might've been the administrator or the executor or the administratrix or the executrix are often called, and I like the term, personal representative, or PR for short. And they're the one that takes care of everything. They, again, responsible person. The, uh, the per there's a, the group of people that are waiting to get paid, to get, the, get money. Those could be the heirs, but they're also called the beneficiaries. And that makes sense. They're benefiting because they're getting stuff from the estate. The heirs are the beneficiaries could be the same. So here's a word, a term, I, I kind of like, it, it just kind of makes it, it makes me laugh because it's, it's cheat, like cheating. 
And that means if somebody died, and it, it is totally cheating, passed away, there's no responsible person, no known relatives, no will, no trust, nothing. And then all of the person's stuff, their assets, their estate, estate meaning all of their assets, you know, houses and everything, goes to the state. Um, another term, and it's actually a real estate term, but is used a lot of time. It's a little bit confusing, or can be. Real property. Well, I, I remember when I was taking real estate school, it just, why don't they just say a structure or a thing, you know, but it really means any type of a structure, a house. If you, if you had a vacant land, it'd be vacant land, but if it had something on there, that's real property. So this would distinguish a house or an apartment building or an office building a structure opposed to jewelry and clothing and cars and things like that personal property distinguish it for the uh, for the estate or the, the decedent's stuff and uh the lastly we talked about will and that's a legal document saying where who gets what and that's usually drawn up by a lawyer and uh, that's it. Uh, we, we went over uh, what, what a probate is, what the, who the decedent is, and then the responsible person who could be a petitioner, could be an administrator, administratrix, executor, executrix, a personal representative or a PR for short. And then there's beneficiaries and heirs, a cheat, which is cheating, a cheat, trust trustee. Trustee is the person who carries out the terms. Um, a will. And that's it for today. Um, make sure you uh, leave a comment about this video. I'd love to hear about it. Give it thumbs up. Share it with your friends, especially if anybody you know going through or knows anybody who's going through probate. Uh, again, like it. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the bell so you get notified when we do new videos each and every week. And God bless, and I hope I can make uh, real estate, make life, and make probate easier for you. This is David Klein Lovett, next home, First Choice Realty.